Hi, everybody. I haven't done this in a while. Made this kind of a journal, but I'm going to make me an envelope journal. And so if you're interested in seeing how I do this envelope journal, then, then hang around. But if you're not interesting, then just go on and watch some cartoons or something. That would be better. Okay, so anyway, this is what I'm going to do. I got envelopes. Uh, oops. Oops, my camera turned when I was getting envelopes. See, these are envelopes. I do have a lot of envelopes. But what I want to do is I have want to get them all the same size. Although I don't know that I need to have them all the same size, but I want to have them all different colors. So look at there. There's an orange one and a purple one and a pink one. So far, we're doing good. Okay, and a red one. Oh, wait a minute. Here's a yellow one. And red one's small. I don't want this small one. I want one bigger than that. Bigger than that. So, that one's way bigger. Wait a minute. I gotta see if I can. Find, oh, what color? What color? What color is that? It's green. Okay. Here's a. Another green one, that's the same size. Here's a yellow one, that's the same size. Here's a white one. Ooh, we're doing good. We're doing good. Okay, I'm going to use... Okay, here's me enough. Envelopes. But... I'm using these envelopes. I'll give you here... I'll, I'll give you the... I'll pretend like I'm all... Um, smart and stuff. Um, these envelopes are five and a half by eight and a half inch is, but I need a couple envelopes. Okay, this one here. I'm gonna make the spine. Oh, first of all. My nose always itches, right? There's where I had that surgery. Well, it wasn't surgery. It was just a procedure when I had that cancer on my nose. And they took it off. And at first it didn't show any scar, but now it's showing a scar. And it always itches right there. Okay, well, I got that scratched. I don't remember who that lady was that commented on one of my videos. But she didn't think I was very... She didn't think I was very... Um, professional. <laughs> she was right. Okay, this is what I'm doing first. I'm going to take and I'm going to glue shut these envelopes. Let me see. Wait a minute. I don't know how many pages it's going to have yet, but I gotta, I'm going to glue shut about six. I'm going to assume that there's going to be about six pages. So I'm going to glue them shut. So they're going to be glued. Uh, don't worry, I'm going to cut them back open again. So, but for right now, I'm gluing them into the shut mode. Okay, so we'll get them shut. And, um, shut. This way it can be they can shut, they can dry while I'm doing the spine. I'm a spine doctor. Did you eat all your ice cream, Papa? Yep. Papa's having him some ice cream. have much in there. Oh, there wasn't much in there? Okay. Not to worry, there's plenty in the freezer. Oh, I'm in the um, dining room art area, professional art area dining room. And um, I might not need this many envelopes. Well, if I don't, I'll just make another journal. Whatever, whatever. Okay, so let me just glue this one more. I don't know how many I glued. Mm -hmm. I'm working on my profession. No, is some. Ooh. There, I have to put my teeth in. Okay, so now I got all these envelopes glued shut, so they're all shut. And we're just going to let that glue dry good while I work on the um, spine. 
Here I have my score pal. And I'm going to, oh, I need to have these, this one kind of glued shut too, though. I'm just put very little glue on this one. Just a very small amount of glue. Mmm. Smells good. Good, Jeffrey. Is it still, did you take it out of the oven already? Does it look good? Alrighty then. Okay, Jeffrey's not speaking. He's being very quiet. He's cooking himself some cheesy bread. We used to always buy pizza when he's here and have it delivered, but um, after I quit eating pizza, because of the S-A-L-T, which is a cuss word, then um, I I can't too much goes to waste so now we buy other things he can just get to microwave you know I could cook for him and stuff but he doesn't eat okay now I'm going to go every half inch and I'm gonna put and I'm going to score this on every half inch I'm going to score this. See how quiet I get when I'm really concentrating? I'm scoring it every half inch. And I'm concentrating so I do this correctly. And, um, and, and, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so hopefully I did that one right. And I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna do one more. Did I glue that one? Yeah. You know, score it at every half inch. Every half inch. See, this is where, if you're a professional in the editing process you would speed this right up because most would say oh i'm sorry they would they apologize a lot of professionals apologize a lot and i'm just not into that to apologize so, so i apologize if i'm taking up time valuable time oh i just apologized okay and so this is what i'm doing anyway i'm just getting this at every half an inch and um and this is about all you can do there now now I'll get rid of this board well, I'm not gonna get like rid of it I'm just gonna put it out of my way right here now now I got these two envelopes scored at every half an inch so now I'm going to fold um, Let's see, I gotta remember how to do this right because it's been like a couple hundred years since I did it. So I'm gonna go like this. Okay, and what I wanna so it's you're not gonna just accordion fold it. You're gonna you're gonna have a a, a a mountain and then you need a flat spot and then build another mountain. So let's see how that goes. Let me, let me just get that right. I need that. Um, I need that. That squasher. There it is. See, now. So what I'm doing here is see how it looks. It's like not. I'm not doing um, a accordion. I'm go up a mountain flat and then another mountain flat another mountain and I'm going to do that all the way down here okay so you just got to kind of get it folded and then now we're going to go here and get another mountain so like every one two three okay so you're Second line, first line will start a mountain. 
and then your one, two, three, four, five. Fourth line will start another mountain. Well, well, you'll figure it out. You guys aren't as goofy as I am. You'll figure it out. Okay. So it works good by if. Okay, see, now I got three mountains and three flats. Mountain, flat, mountain, flat, mountain, flat. So then I need to get another mountain. So after I got that last cr bend, then I ignore that bend. No, that next bend. So I'm going to. Yeah, well, I don't know how to say it. Forget it. I won't say it. You just have to. I just can only show you. I've done this once be way long time ago, but I don't remember where I learned it. Or I'd tell you, you know what I think? I'm not sure. I'm not positive. This is where I learned it. I think I learned it from, I used to watch this lady. She was the um, Phenomenon paper packer or something like that. Phenomenon was in her name somewhere. This might be the fold that she got a... This might be the, f you know what, I think it is. I think this is the fold where she, um, she, um, although I don't think she did on an envelope. So that's what's different. She got a, like a, um, what do you call it? A patent on it. And if you used it, well, you're in trouble. I think, but I could be wrong. Okay, now what I'm going to do, okay, so I got one, two, three, four, five. So that shows that that's going to be five pages. Now, you could, so I don't even need this one. So, um, you actually, um, I was going to ask Papa to do me a favor. Papa, would you do me a favor? Yeah. In 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 my room in front of in room A in front of that computer in there, there's a round dish with a bunch of clips about this big around little bitty colorful clips. Would you get that for me? Try. You'll try. Thank you. Whoops. Whoopsie Daisy. Okay. So anyway, what I'm gonna do here. So if this is the lady's, um, um, if she, if this is the one that's, um, got like a, uh, like a, uh, what do you call it on, a patent on it, and you have to pay to use it, well then, um, this will be my last video, from here anyway, they might let me make videos from prison, I don't know, but I'm making it. And, and when, when I see Judge Judy about it, I'm, I'm going to tell her, oh, You found it, Papa! You are a good man. I mean, you are just nothing but precious. Precious. They might let me take my paper crafting stuff to prison with me. Thank you, sweet cheeks. You, you are just precious. He got me my clips. Well, and then look at what I pull out, a bobbin. So, I want to put these clips on here just to kind of um, hold it so it dries good for a minute. For just a New York minute. And see then underneath here again, I'm putting a, just a little bit of glue there. And so then I'm going to put some clips there again. These here clips, you guys, there is nothing better than a bowl of clips because you can use them for anything you know they're like extra fingers to hold some sometimes you have to have an extra finger to hold something to glue it well there you go that's a whole bowl full of fingers Papa's always saying can I lend you a hand well no but you can lend me a finger and then he gives me the finger not really he don't give me the finger so anyway, what I'm going to do here now is get all these glued here. And um, how's it tasting, Jeffrey? Thumbs up. He put a thumb up, so that's good. You're not speaking? No, he's not speaking. Okay. I 
That's his lunch. I bought you some pizzas too, Papa. Little tiny pizzas with meat on them. For him, I got just cheese because he doesn't eat meat. He's like a vegan person. He's not really a vegan person, but he doesn't eat meat. Yeah, we had our we had our um, grocery delivery today. I don't know why then. We got a sign at the end of the driveway that shows our our house number. But so many times they'll instead of driving up the driveway, they drop the field, the field, and then they go and hang stuff on the front fence. They don't come up the driveway. Wonder what's the wrong with that? I don't know. Okay, now, so there I have one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to have five pages. See how cute that looks right there? Okay, so now these are going to be, so I need five pages. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's get that white one out of here. Let's get more exciting. One, two, three, four, and let's get this nice bright green one in there. So it'll be real, like, rainbowish. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I sealed all of these right on it. I'm going to take my scissor and I'm going to cut just the very end of this off. Just the... I'm going to cut. Now, you can actually cut both of the ends. The top and the bottom. You could cut them both off if you want to. But we're going simple this time. We're right At this time, it's going to be simple. But I can show you along the way how you can cut the bottom off, too. If you so flip and choose to. And um, But right now, I'm just cutting the I'm cutting the, wait a minute here, there, and um, I have my camera in a little jar, and the jar is sitting on my Yeti cup, so that's my fanciness, that's just my fanciness for the moment. Oh, you know what I should have did? Oh, good grief. Papa burped in public. You're supposed to say, excuse me, Papa. Mm -hmm. Not me. You're supposed to excuse your own self. Nah, I guess you're old enough to excuse your own self. Mm -hmm. You need an excuse for that, Papa. Okay, now. There. It it, no, the whole world heard it. Okay, now. So those are my pa- Oh, man. I did that wrong. I didn't want to. You know what? I could still do it this way, but I didn't want to do it this way. I wanted to do... Well, how many of these do I have? One, two, three. Did I do these ones shut? No. One, two... This one's got all them lines on it. Okay. I can still do it this way, but I'm not going to. I'm going to put them over there. And I'm going to take these, and I'm going to cut this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. So, yeah. So I have to glue this one shut. Okay, you go on a road run, Papa. I love you too, darling. I'm telling you what's with our mailman. I don't know what's with our mailman. Well, we don't have a mailman. I guess we have a male woman now. We had the same mailman for, oh my gosh, I don't know, since the since he came over on the ark, I think. But um, now we have somebody new. So this here little note, I've been getting this note in my mailbox. And it says, sorry we missed you while you were out. There, an item was sent by Mary Ard. 
blecking something or other. And um, then it says all on here all about um, it says all on here all about um, going to this place online and fill out this form, fill out a form online. And hi. Yeah, yes, I am doing a video. What are you doing? I'm returning a few things, like this when I came in here and stole last night. Oh, that's right, you stole and my then, shirt. Um, this oh, okay. And so then, so I went online and I filled out all the stuff for the re-delivery. And um, so then, and said re-deliver the next day. So then, um, so then, um, the next day, I got this another notice. It said, please deliver the stuff. So I said, please deliver ASAP. Put it in the mailbox to come to the gate and honk. And then, so then that was like two days. Then the net, now today, I got this back again. No package. They sent me this back again. And it says, I think he said, please sign the open. Or maybe he signed, please sign the something or other. So we all crap. You know, and I seen this place to sign here, delivery section, but I figured you sign that when they deliver. Because now, so I went ahead and I signed it right here. I signed it right here. I turned it over and I signed it right here. And, and oh, I signed it down here. <laughs> I signed it everywhere. So we'll put this into the mailbox tomorrow and see if they re-deliver. They'll probably, I don't know who this here, Mary, Mary Grid, Marv Grid. I can't read that mail person's writing for love nor money. And so, but it says it's a package and all these attempts, first attempt, second attempt, I guess they're right. If they do, if this doesn't work for them, I guess they'll have to just send it back. Okay. So anyhow, now I'm going to do this right. I had to give that time to dry a little. Now I'm not. I just cut that long end. Well, I'm gonna cut the short end. The short end. Now, you know what I could do. I just thought of something. I'm going to cut it. Okay. I just changed my mind again. Put that over there. I'm going to fold this in half. And I'm going to cut, now that you all have changed the channel, I'm going to cut this right in half. So I folded it and then I cut it in half. I could have used a scoreboard, but. I just cut that whole thing in half. This will make a much better something. So, right there. Tom Sue, have you lost your mind? <laughs> my children don't want to talk to me because I'm on a video. So they don't want to talk. They just kind of whisper at me. You didn't know that I moved it back in here? You forgot? Yeah. Oh, it's garbage. It needs to be dumped. Nobody will dump it. I guess I'll have to go out and dump it. Okay, so then I'm going to, um, I'm just going to cut these in half. Okay, so now we're moving. Now we're cooking. Okay, so now these are good and dry. So I'm going to take my clips off of here to have my spine on here. And, um, are you complaining again over there? She's not complaining. Okay, so there we go. Now, see, that's all glued together, and so that's just fine. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut just like a little triangle off each one of these. Yeah, you know if you need me, uh, no, that's right. 
Good thing you didn't meet me. Friend. Okay, we'll see you later. I love you, Tao Sue. Okay. See, now whenever... Okay, so anyway, I, um, now that's what I did. Is I just cut the corners a little bit. The reason, the reason for that is because now I'm going to, now I'm going to, where's the glue? Here it is. Now I'm going to glue. Now if you have like double sided tape or something, you could use that probably, but you don't need to. Okay, so now I'm going to glue, like I'm going to put some glue here on the side of this pokey up part, and then I'm going to put some glue on See this what? part. Of, what, I'm honey? I'm when I forget things, because I whisper yes. Now this is yours. Okay, thank you. Oh, would you just, good grief. <laughs> Here's some moolah, and look what I got, Papa. Oh, wow. You did good. Out of 10, 15, 20. Well, throw that on his chair. That's what he said to do with it. Okay. But there's a lot of fives and tens. I just got a bunch of change if he wants to play, but we didn't have anything. Okay. All right. Okay, so now I just put, I glued. The reason she gave me this here money, this here, because I told her to go get this out of my account. Because see this here, um, this unicorn, every year I put money in this unicorn. This is our cuss. If, if you cuss in this house, you have to um, pay the unicorn for cussing. And so I owed the jar cuss money. But see, every year then what this cuss money works for is... Um, is when our granddaughter comes over, she comes down, then the cuss money is for her gas to get back home. So there, I just put my cuss money because I owed it cuss money. And so then now that's in there. You got your cuss money? No, I don't never cuss. I'm just volunteering. You don't ever cuss? Oh, God. This, is, this here is for cussing and lying. If you lie or if you cuss, you gotta put money in here. And we only charge 25 cents per cuss. So, okay, now what was I doing? Okay, now I have to put some glue on the next dabber thing, on this next thing. And um, this is the variety show, you guys, just in case you're wondering. If I've lost my mind completely, but um, but our granddaughter is coming tomorrow. She'll be here late tomorrow night sometime. You're driving on down from Alabama, Alabama, just north of Birmingham. And they're going to be down here for a week. So, but. Every year we've done this. She gets the cuss jar money. And so, um, and then that helps her with her gas to get back home. And now she's got this car. It's a Telluride or something. So we think that Telluride probably takes more gas than her old Prius or whatever that other car was she had. Okay, so now I'm gonna go like this here. But we get to see, I get to see my granddaughter. I get to see my two great grandchildren, which is Taylor and Ella Grace. And they're beautiful. Taylor is, how old is Taylor? Taylor is, I think he's nine, or maybe he's even 10. Oh God, I hope not. 10 is two numbers. And Ella Grace is, I think she might be, maybe she's five. No, she can't be five. Well, she might be, though. I don't know. I don't keep up with their ages. Good grief. I don't even remember their birthdays. Well, I do remember Ella Grace's birthday. Her birthday's on Valentine's Day. Okay, so now I've got three of the pages on there. And now, see, I'm putting glue on either side of that pokey up part. And then I um, take where I cut that envelope in half. 
it just fits over there just nicely if you if you cut that edge you know you have to cut that corner off sort of like kind of and then it goes right on there and actually I gotta get a little bit more cut off of that like this Okay, oops, I gotta put the glue on here. And then I put the glue on here. There we go, now, see that. Okay, here's a hundred dollars to put in there. Okay, you want all that in there? You are a good grandpa. Okay, I'll put that in there in a little while. You are a good grandpa. They're gonna, they're gonna think that you are the, the cat's meow, or the dog's bark, or the, hyenas or whatever. I don't think you're the rabbit's hop. Okay, so now I just got all them on there. Did you see how I did that? Okay, now. So see there? That's the pages now. See, they're on there. But now, I need to know, I gotta measure with my measure and magic stick here. How wide is that? completely um, from there to there is three and a half inches so now I want to take oh maybe I could just go ahead and use this extra one that I did and I can I can um, cause since I already got whole slots and I can measure one, two, three and a half. No, one. Well, anyway, sort of like this. I'll go sort of like this. I'll cut. Okay, so three and a half is about this much. So we'll go. I'll fold that up here like this. Like this. And then I'll go one, two, three and a half. And since that was already scored at. This one's higher than this one. That doesn't matter, you guys. It's gonna be a junk journal. This is gonna sit right in here like this. See that? Now, then, see how that's flat right there? I'm gonna now take, and I'm gonna glue this whole bottom three and a half inch part like this. Okay, so put a plenty of glue in there so it stays together. Now, I ain't kidding you. This, this is... And then I'll just mash that down in the center. And I got, and I got a half an inch between each page. Let's see. There's a half an inch between each page, which means then you can put a lot of ephemeras and stuff in there even if the ephemera is is big so now what I want to do is I want to have okay so now I need my covers now so oh that's right I had some more of these here envelopes folded already because this is just envelopes it's just envelopes so now I want to fold this in half and I'm going to fold it a little bit less than half so it's like, it's longer here than it is here because I'm going to go ahead and then this is going to go on here. Oh, you know what I should actually do? Throw that back over there. I'm going to take these two pieces. Since this is three and a half inches back here, I'm going to measure this. Where'd that ruler go? Oh, here it is. I'm going to measure this at three and a half inches this way. Three and a half inches this way. That's right there. And then I'm going to fold that like this. And then I'm going to take this one and do the same thing. And fold that the same way. Now, then, boys and girls, this here is good. These are going to be the covers. But see, now, 
I'm going to take this. There's going to be a lot of layers of paper on this back spine, but that's good because you want it to have a lot of a nice healthy spine, you know. Everyone should have a nice healthy spine. So on that short three and a half inch piece, that's where I put the glue. And then put that right there. Look at there. See that that three and a half inch piece fits right there. And now this three and a half inch, because see, I did this one the same way. Then this is going to go for the other cover. So we'll just get it right there to that fold. There we go. So then that. Now I have this little extra bit of, of that envelope that I used for the first part of the spine. So I'm going to glue that to the cover. Now this is strengthening the cover. Now see, in my sale a couple sales ago, I sold all them envelopes. Some of you lovely folks purchased envelopes and cards. Those of you who didn't, that's too bad. But those of you who did, this is one thing you can do with them envelopes make it this here. Now, now I did that pretty quickly, you guys. Oh, that's when I had cut open already, but that's okay. That That's cut open because, because it's just is. Oh, I didn't get that very straight. Okay, now it's straight. So then you got the general gist of it, see? The general gist of things. But then once you start decorating on the inside now, once you start decorating your pages and whatnot, everything is going to come together like beautiful. Like beautiful. So this might look a little shaggy waggy. Now see what I was saying earlier. If you were to cut open the this edge of the envelope, you would have a pocket. You would have a pocket to be able to put stuff in there. In fact, you could take a pocket. You could take like a smaller envelope. Let's see. Where was one of them little ones? Let's see. Is this a little one? Yeah, see? You could you could cut one of your pages. I got stuff stuck. You could cut one of your pages like just cut a sliver off of there and then you have that pocket open and then you can take another piece an envelope or look at this you can put this envelope in here and you could put another envelope you could take this you can take another envelope you can just envelope the heck out of this thing you can put this envelope in there in that same one but have it flap in the other way, like that way. And so you could, so then your book would open like this, and then you turn the page, and it'll open like this, and then you still have a pocket right in the center there that you can add beautiful things in it. So I'm going to be playing with this. Today I got a card from my friend and my friend Alicia sent me a card it says your blessing now this card is going to go into this journal because when I first said because I had to get started on another one anyway because I finished two journals three journals so I can put this here like in here I could even put this card in here, like that. I could do even that and make it a flip out there. But then she also, oh, Lord have mercy, she also 
had sent well this beautiful envelope that's got to go in there and then she gave me this card it says I will always keep you in my heart she said, it's nice I will always love you John Jeremiah 31 3 she sent me this little card that's going in my journal and then she, these are stickers look at these ladies I wonder if I want to run a copy of these ladies before I use the stickers. I love them. There's like 50s ladies right there. But those ladies were in there too. Boy, them are awesome as heck. And then, so I want to show you this other, um, this journal here. Look at this one. I just made this one like yesterday. But you know what I had in up what I still have in my cupboard? I used to do a lot of canning and jelly making and all that kind of stuff and I had boxes of sure gel still up in there that's you know, that sure gel was like rock hard in there but the box this is the box the cover is the box of the sure gel and so I made a little journal out of that sure gel and see and then I and these ones I just made odds and ends of pages out of vintage -y, paper and stuff and then I got some stickers and some other vintages some tags and stuff and just filled up all the pages with just the cutest little stuff and um, then whenever I got whenever from my friend Laura J Jersey Laura she sent um, I got some fabrics from her see this is a pocket and then some pictures in that pocket so there's some pockets on here and whatnot and this was a tag but I glued it right on there but this here binding seam binding there's brown and there's um and teal and that was what was tied all the fabrics were together when I purchased well I purchased it from her Etsy store but um and see and so then I just took different tags little tags I like doing little things sometimes it's just fun and see there's another tag in a pocket and what I was wanting to find there see this tag I just glued that one to the page and then this is a little butterfly hanging on a paper clip and I stuck that in there and I might need a little bit more in this. Oh, there it is. This was in um, this was in Alicia's envelope too. It's a magnet. It's it's like a magnet clip. So I put that in that there journal right there. It says, "With God, all things are possible." And it says that on both sides. But see, that's what I did there. And then. And I think that is cute. It's just cute can be. And then I made, well, I showed my other one that flips and flaps. But now this is all done with envelopes. This little, this little journal. But this is all done with, um, like, junk mail envelopes. That's a picture of Jeffrey when he was a little baby. Put him in there. And, but this is just, and what I did with this is I... I did not get no junk mail envelopes today in the mail. I can't believe that. Darn it. Why did they not send me any junk mail envelopes? Well, I'm just going to take this here envelope that I got from, from, um, and show you what I did. I just cut the envelopes like this way. Ooh. Oh, no, I think I, I don't think she put that in there. I think I just dropped it in there. And then I just cut this. So the envelope then opens like this. And then I took five or six envelopes and then just put them all together, the different envelopes, and sewed right down the middle. Once you did that, then you had all these pages all ready to go. And so then I just started adding things, pockets and pockets and clips and pictures. It's come out of an old um, Raleigh catalog, fly repellent dipping here's a louse powder it's fun things but and but then you can make pockets 
Yeah, they do. They need powder. When you change the diaper, the louse's diaper. And then, see, you can put, like, little cards in there and make envelopes, make pockets on your envelopes. But then, see, wherever there's the, wherever there's the windows, you know, you can use them so things can shine through. See, in there, there's a card. I put that on there. And then I put some dictionary paper on there. There's another envelope. Just glue it on there. Just add stuff. <laughs> oh, and then this was a card. I gotta color that one still. This one here, I got some unicorns in there. And see, I can still take and do some doodling all the way around. So this one's not finished at all. This one's a pocket. I gotta add something to that pocket. I can put that right there from Alicia. And then here, oh, this was a get well card that I got from my sister-in-law when I was sick. She made that. And then this here, I sewed this on here. I got um, Victoria McGowan she sent me an ice cream maker. She said, hi, Lizzie, enjoy your gift from Victoria McGowan. Everything is better with ice cream. And she made an ice cream maker. But you can take a piece, um, a one small, because um, part of it's frozen, this thing, and you can put in a cup of yogurt in there, and then you put this top on it, and it stirs it, and stirs it until it turns into ice cream. So I put that right there. This was a little dolly that I drew one time. But see, this is a smaller envelope in here. Oh, this is an envelope. I made a pocket here. But this was my granddaughter when she lived. She don't live there no more. But I had made up a whole bunch of envelopes. And I was going to send her an envelope a day. And, but I didn't get them all sent. So I used one of them. I'll see her tomorrow. But, yeah. And then this was a picture of a vintage nurse right here so I put that in behind that thing and here it says God help us help others and that worked out perfect there and so but you can just keep see there I got still work on that page I got still a lot of space to work on with this but that's just that envelope or just them envelopes so right down the center and just start adding stuff and you can have more than one journal going at uh, every, every minute of your day just you could have more than one going and so like this by the time like this has only got an envelope right so it doesn't seem like it's very very um hefty for a cover but then once you like especially if you're using greeting cards you cut out a greeting card that fits right on top of here find a card you like and put it on there or anything you know you put one on the inside but look at the and because you have that space in the center of each one you have like so much room that if you want to put something I mean even like you could write a word using these these um, tile scrabble tiles you can read a word on them and it's and the, and there's enough space in between each page that the um that that would work just fine i'll show you this after i get more when i get it all glammed up you know when i make it more glamorous oh good grief i still didn't bring my book in here okay i'm gonna um i didn't bring my book to read so i'm gonna read what is today i don't think i even read today's jesus calling what is today tear my head around Ugh. 22nd so let's see what it says for July 22nd okay here it is find freedom through seeking to pl oh find freedom through seeking to please me above all else you can have only one master when you let others' expectations drive you, you scatter your energy to the winds. Your own desire to look good can also drain your energy. I am your master, and I do not drive you to be what you are not. Your pretense displeases me, especially when it is in my service. Concentrate on staying close to me at all times. It is impossible to be 
inauthentic while you are focusing on my presence. So don't try to be just like whoever or whatever or just whatever, you know. Just as long as you know right from right, right from wrong, good from bad. You are good. See that? Just don't do anything bad. Okay, ask God to watch over you every step you take, every move you make. And um, don't say cuss words or you got to put money in the cuss jar. And um, this is not a jar, it's a unicorn, but it's got... And what's so fun to watch, too, is um, Ella Grace. She likes to... She'll take the bottom out of here and... Then with a pair of tweezers, she'll pull out all the, all the loot, and it's fun to watch her. But anyway, because she's just beautiful. But anyway, I should have her do it on. Look at this picture. This is me. You see this picture? I just found that going through junk. Look, I was thin. And that was the front door in our old house because before we built this house, we lived in a, a mobile home, but we had an addition on it. And um, But look at that old TV with the rabbit ears was there. And um, I was on my way to work. I was a little teacher at a little school. And I had my little, my basket purse. I used to carry that purse for a basket. That basket for a purse, it was one of those, um, what do you call it? Those real high dollar, well, I had a job, you know, so I wasted my money. And what do you call them purses? I can't remember. But they sell baskets and they're like way too much money. But that was my purse at the time. And there I was. Somebody took a picture of me while I was getting ready to go to work. Yeah, okay. How are you? I always wear my old dresses to work. Yeah. Okay, that's all I have to tell you. Ask God to watch over you every step you take, every move you make. Keep you safe and secure. Keep you happy. Keep you humble. Keep you healthy. And I will see you on the next video. On the next video, I will see you on the next video. I might see you for the rest of the day if I don't find my mouse. Oh, here's my mouse. Okay, there's my mouse. Okay. God bless you all.